The way games are this day and age, sometimes sequels aren't better than the original. Well, I can proudly say that's not the case with Remnant 2. Remnant 2 is actually better than the first one. Not by a lot, but with the new boss fights and tighter controls, Remnant 2 is showing people that good games still exist. Now, it's not all perfect, but with what they have now, it's still one of the best games to come out this year. Now, you know I just recently finished the first game, so giving my review on this was pretty fun. Let's talk about the story. Well, just like in the first one, your goal is to stop the root. But this time you're a little bit in the future and hear about the deeds that the character from the first game did and how it still affects y'all even now. You and your sick friend make it most of the way to get attacked by some monsters and then save from the characters from the first game who take you back to the main base. From there they tell you that most of the route is gone, but there are still places that it lingers at, and how they were waiting on someone like you to come. Now of course, with games like this and Dark Souls, story is not really the main focus of the game, and it's always its weakest point. But for some reason, I actually really enjoyed the story from time to time, and found myself really engaged in it. Let's talk about the world. So this was one of the many highlights of this game for me. The world was done great, and each place I went to always had me stopping and just saying wow. I couldn't tell you how many times I stopped, panned my camera, and was taken away at the backdrops. Crazy thing is, I thought the backdrops in the first one was good, but they took it up a notch for this game. They had places that made me feel like I was in the Matrix, then another that felt like it was straight out of the Resident Evil. The locations this game will take you is some of the best level designs I've seen. And it's procedurally generated so it always changes. And it helps that most of the areas are actually a pretty decent size this time around. There really wasn't too many levels I didn't like or just felt like it was something I just had to get through. Let's talk about the gameplay. Well just like the first one, it's Dark Souls with guns. But this time around they changed a couple things. The shooting felt a lot tighter and movement felt a little bit more loose and nimble. They also took out leveling up your armor pieces. Now you just level up the mods and your guns. And of course still your dragon hearts. And coming from the first one where they were handing out skill points like candy on a Halloween special, this game took it a different approach and decided they want to be stingy with skill points and actually make you work for them. The items you need to upgrade weapons has gone up a lot and take way more resources now to level your gear up. Now, you will find everything you need through the game, so it's not really a big deal. But the change was noticeable since I just came from the first one. Moment to moment gunplay is still the same. Fast and exciting, just with way better mods this time. But hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Let's talk about the combat. Okay, well, like I said, the moment to moment gameplay is still the same. But holy crap, those boss battles are something else. These are by far the best boss battles I've ever had. One boss battle had us running down a giant hole with an electric orb chasing us to the bottom. Or when we fought this giant eye robot thing that shoots lasers. I really don't want to spoil any of the bosses for y'all since that's one of the game's biggest highlights. And some of those boss battles will surprise you and how cool they look. Now, I've had some good things to say about the game. But this brings me to everybody's favorite part. Let's talk about the cons. So unlike the first one, I actually do have some cons about this one. My first con is, holy crap, the loading on this game is long at times. So when doing some world hopping with your friends, you have to sit in this long loading just to get back to the main menu, just to sit in another long loading screen, just for you to end up being stuck in an infinite loading screen then having to reload the whole thing and start over. Now, at first it wasn't annoying, but after a while it was like, come on bro. My second con is, sometimes the dodging felt really tight. Like you aren't really rolling far. And coming from the first game, the difference is noticeable. Not sure if it was done to make the game seem harder, but it's not the worst thing. Just thought it was something worth mentioning. My only advice to new players is, just learn it and it will get easier. I had a blast playing Remnant 2. From the beautiful worlds to the giant laser shooting eye, I give Remnant 2 a 10. 
out of 10. I really love this game. And it's one that you should definitely pick up and play with friends. Let me know down in the comments if you are enjoying Remnant 2. And what other games are you looking forward to? And make sure you guys join the Discord. The link is in the description below. And if it doesn't work, then just message or say, hey, the link's not working. I will definitely send you a new one. You guys take care. Bye.